Hell family, welcome to the channel. How are you today? I'm Deborah. This is Purush Intuitive, and we are looking at the energy for you this week. Welcome, welcome. If you're new, definitely hit the like and subscribe button. Let's build and grow our community here at Purush Intuitive. <laughs> All right, guys. Ooh, stinging nettle popped out. So this is such an interesting energy because it really speaks to, you know, um, it's an incredibly medicinal plant. It's great for um, uh, female healing. It's the feminine energy. But, you know, it also has these like kind of stinging components to it where, you know, this value of something can be really difficult to learn through, to go through, but it also can be very healing for our soul at the same time. You know, medicine is really there to kind of replenish, restore, bring balance into. And even though sometimes the healing process is about releasing and purging and letting go of the toxins, it also makes us stronger, you know, in the long run. So... Getting out those pruning shears this week, Leo. Uh, you know, really kind of figuring out what's working, what's not. I love how beautiful this is for this time of year. Uh, we're in the end of spring, soon to be summer months. You know, there's a lot of vibrant growth with vegetation and plants and garden. And, you know, we always have to be on top of things, right? Weeding out whatever may come in and try to suffocate our livelihood, right? Like what we're trying to grow and what we're trying to build. And some of that for you might be attached back to the emotions and the feelings, not really feeling in control of yourself or of your surroundings for that matter. So it's like this, this value of keeping and going back to the drawing board, right? Well, this is working, this isn't. This is uh, energizing me. This is depleting me and making the adjustments accordingly, right? A lot of this is about how we connect, how we communicate, and how we receive communication. Uh, maybe there is something that you do need to talk about, that you do need to clear the air. Uh, the, the game of telephone, you know, it's always funny because it, it gets passed down from person to person or even over this style of telephone, right? It's like, you know, things get lost in communication. And so we really have to make sure that we're weighing out all the these factors where we might misconstrue something or it might trigger us or it might send us into a tailspin and maybe unnecessarily so, you know, maybe it's because we're taking it too personally or it's how we're interpreting something that, I don't know, isn't necessarily that. And kind of finding this out, um, doing the work, doing the due diligence, having the conversation, clearing the air, all of that stuff takes a lot of courage and strength. Even if it just means that you have to show up a little bit more diplomatically, right? Leo energy loves to be front and center. I love that about you guys. You're ruled by the sun. It's expansive. It's putting yourself out there, you know, liking that limelight. Even if you don't like to be in, you know, like center stage per se, um, it's still that value of the affirmation, you know, and really being able to kind of like let your persona, your person shine forth. But that does take a lot of courage, you know, and especially when we want to be the one on top, we want to be the one who's right about this situation. But there's something, and I feel like this is something that's a little bit more internal, something for you, your personality, or how you deal with, how you manage things, that does need to be looked at and evaluated. Yeah, so King of Cups or Knight of Cups energy. This is Cancer Pisces Scorpio. You could be on the Cancer cusp or have some of that in your chart. This is someone who's like, it's like their intentions are there, but the follow through is really lacking. Um, and that would kind of go, go back to this pruning shears, right? So we can really want something 
but I think that there are so many different components that have to come together in order for us to have the passion and drive to get it. We can say till we're blue in the face or maybe we're really attracted to that thing. We really want that thing. But, you know, when it comes down to the work behind it, that's where the passion is. The seven of wands. It's like being able to push through all the obstacles, the speed bumps, you know, the trials, the tribulations and still end up on top. But honestly, the seven of wands is a lot about, uh, you know, you having to do that work. And if you're not, if you don't have your whole heart into it, if you're not really that committed to it, then you really do have to take another look at it. Is it worth it? T dialing in, tuning into what it is you truly want, what you're willing to put the work, the time, the effort into. And I feel like with also this other value, when we get our energy clouded with other things that isn't really worth our time, you know, then we have to take this uh, step back and kind of get rid of that stuff because all it does is it takes away. It clogs energy from all the other things. I can attest to this 110%. I just went through this where, you know, there was just so much going on in my life and I really had to kind of take a step back and refine, refine, refine. And the things that weren't truly for me, they kind of moved their way out of my life in and of themselves. Things happen, you know, whatever, that made it really easy for those things to exit or they naturally left. Yeah, there might have been some frustrations or annoyances along the way, but it was getting, it was weeding out the BS, right? Weeding out what doesn't serve you. And that's really where you are right now. Leo, you're working to empower yourself. And from that space of the chariot, it's cancer energy tuning in to our heart, our wants, our desires, our needs. And how are we going to make that happen? It, the cancer, or the cancer, <laughs> the <laughs> chariot is that balance between what we see, sense, and feel, and then the action steps we're taking, that masculine and feminine principle. And you're really empowered this week. Um, things are moving. I feel, yeah, lots of movement in your energy. I'm happy to see that for you, Leo. Uh, this makes sense too. So sometimes when we're like on the go, when we're doing things, it's almost like we need things to work out fluidly or else they can make um, things pretty emotional. So making sure that things don't get triggered or whatever communications you're having this week, be really, really conscious about that because they can actually get taken the wrong way and then it ends up turning into something that it really doesn't even need to be. Here's your card, Leo, the strength energy. Um, this is you empowering yourself. Like you really do have to dig deep right now. This is the time to do it. We have a lot of Taurus energy. So that's building our stability, our material forces, like how we um, show up in this world. What makes us feel strong and secure? Are our bills paid? Are we honoring ourselves with our finances? Are we putting our best foot forward so we can create the most abundance? Those types of things. Um, you know, be careful of this, you know, wanting to do it all by yourself. When you block partnership, when you block relationship, it just makes it twice as hard. This doesn't mean that you have to partner with a specific person. If you're not feeling that from someone, don't force yourself into it. But there is that added layer of really just taking the time to say like, what am I trying to do? How um, can I make choices or what energies can I utilize as partnership so I don't have to do everything, right? So I can actually get to my goal a little bit quicker. And whatever that is for you, obviously, like I said, these are super general readings. Um, so hit me up if you want a personal reading. Did I say that at the beginning? I don't know. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I try to keep track, but I do the videos, you know, in three, so I can't remember what I say where. <laughs> 
Okay, so new beginnings for this Queen of Pentacles. This is Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, someone who has completely, yeah, flipped their perspective and changed their direction. Um, their direction does not look like they're headed towards you. So whether there was a breakup, whether this is like what you're trying to get away from, Leo, um, there is this energy still surrounding. I mean, you still feel attached to this person because I feel like there is still something you want with them, but you haven't completely revealed it yet is what I'm seeing. I feel like this other person isn't really paying attention. They're kind of stuck in the past, stuck in their own pain and heartbreak, uh, stuck in this energy of what didn't happen, what didn't work out, how they wanted it to, you know? Um... This is someone who's kind of given up, yeah, definitely, with that Wheel of Fortune. I feel like they've given up on your situation. I'm not really sure if you know this or if this is part of the catalyst for why you're really working to empower yourself right now. Maybe you can sense it. Maybe you can sense that they've just kind of let go and are moving on. Um yeah. Oh, guys, this is so sad. The lovers are being blocked. So lots of, uh, so this partnership energy is between you guys. Maybe you're just on a different path. You know, it looks like there's not communication. Hence why spirit is asking you to talk it out. 1144 on the clock. Knowing that you're safe, knowing that you're protected, your guides, your angels, your spirit is you know, definitely watching over you, staying strong in that. But you're not really allowing for what you want to have happen. This is too bad, Leo. This is such a, it's coming out of this energy. Okay, so all this is bl being blocked. The lovers, nine of cups, which is wish fulfillment, and five of pentacles is this feeling of rejection. So you're feeling rejected, so you're letting go of what you actually do want out of this situation. And it's like you feel, I think you feel like empowered through it. You know, we all, anytime we're working with or dealing with something messy, you know, it's like we do our best to kind of get our stuff together, get it back in order and move forward. But I think it's just like not really moving forward in the way that you had wanted or hoped. And again, it's kind of coming from that energy because there's a refusal to work on things with other people. Whether you just need time and space from this person or situation and that's why you're rejecting it. But remember, don't force yourself to do it all alone. Definitely connect and reach out with people that can help you push yourself forward. Yeah, so you can rise up into that King of Wands position. That's you being empowered. That's you being strong. That's you grabbing the bull by the horns and saying, you know, I'm really going to go after what I want and not be afraid of it. You might be afraid right now. That's why it's easier to put time and energy into this other stuff that is happening for you instead of into what you really do want, right? Which is this lovers nine of cups so you're missing something you're missing a relationship a connection whether this is something new that you want to bring in um you know there is that energy around you i feel like you have to open yourself up to it uh try not to block out yeah okay so this devil coming into play it's be really really conscious of the places that there is control, there is manipulation, um, wanting to dictate the terms and circumstances. That's more the negative side, no shade to you guys, of the Leo energy. It's the arrogance, it's the pride, it's wanting things to be in a certain way, wanting to be the person on top. That can get really messy, that can be a messy game. So be really conscious of that. There's a need to look at things a little bit more diplomatically. So we have this difference between Capricorn energy, which is the devil, and justice, which is Libra. So yeah, you can be st stubborn, strong-headed, bull-headed. You can get what you want if you want to muscle your way through it. But chances are you keep blocking this energy 
and it's not going to come in. Where if you try to be a little bit more diplomatic in your approach, dealing with this person, place, or thing, having honest communications, having the courage, having the strength, what you need in order to kind of allow things to move forward a little bit more fluidly, I feel like you're going to be empowered in that. Instead of blocking and resisting, you know, it's just like it... Things are just so much harder to do on our own, right? We're designed for partnership. Embrace the change. It's not always easy. We might not like how things are moving, but there's still options. Don't cut yourself short because all that's doing, guys, really is taking away from your own sustenance, your own stability. And you deserve to feel awesome and empowered and happy and fulfilled in your life, Leo. It's just claiming that and not letting the emotions get the best of you, you know? Take an adventure, shake up that energy a little bit, get out, meet some new people. Um, you know, it's a good time. We're hitting the summer months, so maybe plan a little vacation, a little camping trip, something along those lines that will help, you know, kind of um, get you back into your heart space, right? radiate your light, cutting off the stuff that doesn't work, not only around you, but also the things that, you know, the ways that you react, the ways that you show up. Be a little bit more diplomatic and empathetic. Uh, try not to be so stubborn and bullheaded. It's really important to kind of see, reflect, and then make choices that are going to work best for everyone involved. It's easier said than done, right? Because we want our way. That's human nature, you know? Um, but it's also just going to be that much more arduous. It's It feels tense. It feels like you have to keep pushing, pushing, pushing because it's all by yourself, you know? Try to open up to that partner ownership and energy this week partnership energy thank you um i hope this helps leo i'm sending all the love and blessings thank you for tuning in always big thumbs up if it resonated drop comments below let's build and grow our community all right everyone have a fabulous day